we um, buy each other pajamas and put them on in the morning of Christmas Eve and then wear them throughout the day no matter where we go. So Christmas Eve church service. Last year it was picking up a car in the shop with um, a onesie with a butt flap. So we like to get embarrassing for each other, but uh, it's, it's always fun. Yeah. Hi, hi. Can you talk about the song that you're gonna be singing? I'm gonna sing Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas. And um, I love Christmas music. I mean, we start playing it like in November, like now. Um, but growing up, that was always one of my favorites to sing. And then last year I got to record it. And it's just one of my favorites. It's such a classic one that everyone knows and loves. So yeah, I'm stoked to sing it tonight. Now that you have CMAs under your belt, I guess you're getting ready for AMAs. Tell me about when you found out about your nomination and are you getting ready to go, picking out dresses, that kind of stuff? Yeah, um, I was so excited about CMAs and that's definitely been my focus. But um, yeah, I guess in a couple weeks I have AMAs now and I'm nominated for Favorite Female Country Artist, I think it is, um, with Carrie and Miranda. So just to be in a category with those ladies, um, is incredible and it's my my first all genre award show where i'm nominated so i get to go rep country i'm stoked i haven't picked out my outfit yet but it'll be good <laughs> so in keeping with the the title of your album uh you know a lot of firsts this year yeah. and i guess this is your first cma country christmas it is i've been a couple times um at bridgestone you know as a fan to watch it um like i said like i'm like an elf from november to january 1st so um anytime i can be around christmas cheer i'm always there so i yeah i've seen it a couple times but it's my first year being a part of it and there are a couple of veterans who are in on the uh, show people you want to meet jennifer nettles i got to meet her for the first time this week um she is such a wonderful just vivacious woman i adore her i was just watching her perform actually when i came in here <laughs> Hi. Hi. What is your favorite Christmas gift you have ever received? Whoa. Um, my mom is the queen of Christmas gifts. Like I said, she's an elf. She bought me, like, she's bought me my first guitars, but she bought me my first Taylor guitar when I moved to Nashville, and it was my first, like, really nice guitar because the other one was... It was a Yamaha and it was like $300. And I remember she told me that um, if I went in halfway, she'd get the other half. But so that, that was my first like nice guitar. Um, and that was like when I was getting really serious about music. So that was a special one. Hey, back again. So you're always so fashionable, but would you ever wear an ugly Christmas sweater? Yes, 200%. 200%. Here's my thing, like, I'm a girly girl and I love getting all dressed up and like looking like a fashionista. I want to be like that. But you better believe that if I'm like not all done up, I'm in some ugly sweatpants from the boy section at Kohl's. Like, <laughs> I'm not cute. <laughs> Hi, Kelsey. Um, so would you ever record a Christmas song? Or yes. An album? <laughs> 200%. Yeah, I got to actually record Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas last year just to release it as like a, you know, Christmas single because I love music so much, Christmas music. But um, yeah, if I could ever do a whole record, I would love to. And I really want to write a Christmas song. I've tried several times, but you know, it's hard because everything's already kind of been said. So it's saying it in like a clever way. Um, but that's a goal for me one year to, to write a Christmas song. Hi, I just wanted to ask you about the CMAs Wednesday night. First, how it felt being on the show and performing there, and also if you were watching the Justin and Chris Stapleton performance and, and what it was like watching that in the room. I, uh, being at the CMAs was absolutely incredible, and I, I really want to, my mom, you know, what's it called, DVR'd it? DVR, is that a thing? Mm -hmm. DVR'd it? T vote it? I don't know. Um, and so I can go back and watch it because I, I grew up watching it. So I think actually like watching it back and like seeing my face on it is going to be a moment for me. Um, but yeah, sitting there and seeing it all go down and, and Justin and Chris, they were incredible. I got to see their rehearsal too. And I mean, I was just like, I'm so glad he won everything he did. He's incredible. Um, and I think his album is like number one on iTunes now. I'm like, everyone knows Chris Stapleton. Praise the Lord. Cool. Thank you, guys.